What's up, guys? Knife Life 116 here today, back with another unboxing and first impressions. Our unboxing knife today will be the Civivi Nugs. Really, really been enjoying this guy here. Just an awesome blade shape for utilitarian cuts and just been a really huge joy to carry. All right. Very nice action on here as well. So as you guys can see, we have a Kaiser. So this is the Mini Militar. It is in the Nitro V blade. We have the PEI and Damascus G10 and steel liners. Really cool. Wish you a happy every day. All right, that's awesome. Really like the new packaging. If you guys uh, follow Kaji, you know this is uh, this is new packaging and really cool. So I definitely like that. So first in the box like a little thank you note cool then we got what is this like some stickers very cool a little bit of confetti to celebrate have extra hardware i've been a kaiser fan for quite some time and they've never put this much into an unboxing so this is really cool Let's get the confetti everywhere so we can celebrate. <laughs> All right, guys. Little pouch. And here is our awesome knife. Okay. Very, very cool, guys. Check it out. Excellent. I really like that they added the uh, Kaiser logo to the pocket clip. This is usually a no-no in the knife community, but I'm a huge Kaiser fanboy, so I'm on board with it and I like it. Totally dig that. Our blade centering is perfect. The transitions with these inlays are perfect. No gapping. Look just how clean and smooth that is. Very, very nice. Get to the blade. Excellent. This is just the perfect size for EDC. Jonathan Styles design. This comes in a Nitro V blade instead of the S35. Really cool. This is a budget model. Very nice geometry and profile on that blade. Just like the original open construction design, you can see that we have a ton of weight relief on those steel liners. So this guy is very light. Looks like we went to a liner lock instead of a frame lock. So that will help this guy be super fidgety. A little stiff with it being brand new. Excellent. Same deployment that we just know and love. Let's try that again. Excellent. It's got that Kaiser jimping that we know and love. So let me give you guys a little bit of specs. Starting out, our blade has a 2.82 inch blade and it is Nitro V still. The overall lengths for the knife is coming in at 6.7 inches. Then our close length is coming in at 3.88 inches. Our weight on this guy is under three ounces, coming in at 2.57 ounces. Just an excellent weight for EDC. And I really like that we went to a liner lock. Just gonna be extra easy and fun to disengage you can see that we have a ton of clearance to get to that lock bar very adequate access you can see that we are locked up very very solidly 
I really like the acoustics coming off of this Ultum, or I guess I should say PEI since Ultum is a brand name, but I really like that. You can see that we have some micro milling as well. I really like that for the texture. Really cool. You can see that we do have a deep carry pocket clip and it is a true deep carry pocket clip. It goes all the way up to the end. We have T8 hardware everywhere except for the pocket clip screws, which will be T6. You can see they did not mill it out and inset it, but just that little bit of lip, I'm not expecting that to be too big of an issue, especially with the hardware being flush to the pocket clip. We have two back spacers back there, just like the original. Everything is the same, just went to a liner lock and more budget materials. I really like it, guys. I'm a huge fan. Let's see. See if I have the regular size Militol with me. All right, guys, so we started out with this one as the original Militol. You can see that we have S35VN Blade still and titanium, my card, all that good stuff. We got a mill tie pocket clip. So we went from that. Then we went to more of a budget friendly option here with the Ultum and the 154CM blade still. This is a White Mountain Knives exclusive. And now we ended up here with the mini, which I think is just really cool. I totally dig these materials. Nitro V is an excellent blade still. And just, I have a ton of good experience with it. So I think that is just an excellent choice. Let me give you a size comparison the full size and we'll go pivot to pivot with the mini. So that's about what you can expect with your size difference. Let me give you guys a cut test and see what kind of shape this blade came in. We all know that it's going to be screaming sharp because that's just how Kaiser rolls. Let's see. Oh yeah, just as we expected. Give you the full length of the blade, no hang ups, all the way to that tip. Tip is very slicey, excellent. I like it guys. I'm a huge fan of the Militar, always have been. This is probably one of my favorite knives that has ever been created. So I was a huge fan and just really excited to see all of these new variants that they are dropping in budget form. That's gonna be it guys. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and first impressions. Thank everyone who's staying on board with your boy and I'll see you on the next one. Got a lot coming, peace. Just wanted to add this in here, guys. This came from Atlantic Knife Company. They have done the unthinkable and impossible. They have actually beat White Mountain Knife shipping. To me, that's just impossible, but they got this thing here in two days. So I definitely have to come on here and give them credit where credit is due. They are doing a great job in the knife community and I'm looking forward to doing further business with them and I totally recommend them to you guys. They have some of the best prices. They are really good people. You can tell just from talking to them and they strive for excellence in the knife community. So I wanted to definitely put them out there and let you guys know that they are doing excellent, excellent things. Check them out, guys.